well. Oh, it's here. Oh, okay. Nice. Hey, what? What? Get, go get the toy. Go get the toy. Ah. What? The roasted was tough this morning. What the fuck, ever? You full of shit half the time. I just say <laughs> shit. That poo day shit, that purple, that whatever, is not better weed than the weed we did. You're tripping. It tastes good. You are fucking tripping. Referencing a time from when you could not get any fucking weed, you got whatever, whatever, and that was like the best of the best in the motherfucking 90s. We are in 2018, my G. You are crazy still talking about this. Like, it, be the fucking man. Like, it's the same shit. It's the, it's the Air Max of weed. You're trying to get me to smoke a motherfucking Air Max 97 of fucking weed. And you're mad at me for fucking saying this shit's trash. It's ridiculous. You're gonna trade it. We'll do that shit. war. That's fine. Well, that's fine. We'll get it in New York and I'll smoke it. I'm like, cool. I for you it. that know, you know. I know. I'm smoking. You're acting like I've never smoked it. That's the even more fucking. I brought these, by the way. <laughs> that's the even more annoying. Thank you. Oh. You know, trying to act like I've never fucking, like, I lived in New York for fucking, like, four years. Oh, smoke. In your mind, you're in, like, it's like, oh, it's really cold outside. Yes. You're wearing a triple fat goose. And you're walking, it's like, there's no sun out. You're walking down a city block. And you're like this, and you, like, got the little poudre in your little pouch, and that's the vibe that you're feeling. That vibe is fucking over, my dude. We got fucking, we got weed motherfucking <laughs> olive oil. We got weed peanut butter. We got weed fucking, like, sun I like that poudre. We got butter. fucking suntan lotion. You got here talking about some shit that's on fucking North 50. I don't even know the fucking streets in Harlem. Fucking, what, 134th Street to fucking... It's get, up there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. Washington Heights, we're having that. Wow. Got me wild! Then you want to say that you like E40. Can I like E40 in Kodak Black? You got to pick. I'm Sorry. That's bullshit. <laughs> That's Sorry. bullshit. Yeah, yeah, pick one. I bet you Kodak Black likes E40. Kodak Black don't like none of them. Kodak Black likes McDonald's. I hate how you turned me against Kodak Black. No, no. E and, and E40, what, what's unfortunate, I'm not fronting like I'm a fan. Just like I'm not a fan of atmosphere, but. Don't put, don't talk about E40 and atmosphere in the same sense. I'm just talking about dudes that I may not like love every album and every song, but I respect. You fucking put so much time and effort into things like Kodak Black, and then you're like, yeah, E40's dope. And I'm like, well, he is dope. I agree. But you don't fuck with me. We've hung out for fucking like eight years. Literally never heard you put on. Do I listen voice. to Cool Keith or anything? Yeah, we listen to Cool Keith. Mm -hmm. That's one of our common fucking draws. We both like Cool Keith. Mm -hmm. If you remember, I made a beat that sounded like Cool Keith, and you're like, oh, it sounds like Cool Keith. But the, I'm just saying, I respect him. Like the, the fact that anyone fucks with him, I think is dope. Like I'm like, if E40 co-signs something, I think it's dope. Like I think what yeah, he has to. Fuck with him because you're respectful. Yeah. Listen to whatever you want. I'm not, that's not my point. That's not even why I started roasting you. I just started roasting you because I didn't know you eat 40 songs. Because you're like, I love him 40. I was like, boy, you don't even know who fucking eat 40 is. No, but I love him as a person. Yeah, I'm just trying to give him respect. Like, my whole plan today was to secretly play E40 songs and have you go, damn, what's this? And like, E40. And then you're like, yo, what's this? This is dope. And you're like, E40. Dude, Kodak Black did the I Get the Bag remix. Like a freestyle. Brandy just, oh my god. She wants to leave you. Yeah, she's just like, what are you, I don't understand. She's like, what are you even, are you kidding me? Is this a joke? Yeah, you're like, trolling. We'll start our day. We'll There's a Kodak Christmas song that just dropped. I'm not too. listening to any <laughs> rapper Christmas song. I'm on a no rapper Christmas song. Fuck it. After Dipset Christmas. It's over. This is a newer E40 song, so you might. Might have actually heard it. I know the older ones are probably the ones that I've actually heard, honestly. Like, probably 10 years nope. ago. Yeah. It's like my head nope. every day. Yeah, this is you. Yeah. Ever told Everybody got choices. Keep it one down, I don't like that I challenge. Everybody got choices. Yeah, Bro, no, no, no. Is it love at first sight? Better nope. than any Kodak Did you write it like a bike? Yeah. yeah. No, I cannot What's say that. that. Nope. I can, dude, you, I mean, I mean, we're comparing apples to oranges, I get it, but Yo, at the same the, time, Yeah, right? that's the thing, like, the Tunnel Vision video is great. It's got a great fucking message. Everything else seems not as good. What is this? It's a cannon. What? Back in the 1800s, Are you setting me up? Mini, Are you setting me up? They had mini cannons. I need, I need the answer to this question. They had mini cannons in the early 1800s. Are you setting me up to sabotage? So when my, I say cannons, are you sabotaging my YouTube channel? No. Are you doing? Are you sabotaging my my uh, my integrity, my personality? Are you trying to trigger me every day? There's no. First off, this thing is rolled tighter than the motherfucking. There's okay. no way this is hitting. Go I'll reroll it. No, no, go light it. I don't no, no. Yeah. 
No. You're crazy. You're wild. No. That's so small. Put some weed in there. I did. It just packed in tight. That's a Dutch master. All right, give me another shot. <laughs> this is it. This is. There's plenty of weed. There's a whole fucking quarter right there. What, are we saving this one? Just roll up a new one? No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna no. save this pinner for fucking, we'll no. put it behind glass. Break in case of emergency, because I'd have to be dying to want to smoke this fucking thing. <laughs> Omar, are you on my bed? You better get off. Come on. Fuck. I gotta review this bed. Come on. Great. All that for nothing. Fucking washing machine's crazy. Been running for fun 48 hours, and I literally have just gotten into the closet of clothes. Look at this. It's amazing. This is all the shit that's now clean and has been folded. Do you want to see? Do you want to see the closet? Yeah. Come with me to the closet. I'll show you. <laughs> Holy shit! I also try to get my room clean. I ordered a bed, I don't know, did I say that I ordered a platform for this? And no. then it got back ordered? And they said it wasn't gonna ship until April? No. So I have to order a different one. Yeah. All right, so the closet. Omar's very excited because when he gets in here, he really loves it. This is all the clothes on the closet. So this is all next. I have to wash all of this. And then I have to go through and figure out what I'm keeping. Your water bill is going to be 300 just for this. Yes. I have to figure out what I'm keeping and what I'm getting rid of. And it's just, yeah. Here we no. go. It stopped automatically. But it's okay. I'm sure, it got plenty. Yeah. We got a good one now. We'll see. We haven't lit it yet. But. Oh, me. But yeah. This definitely looks like a, you know, more than one serving for sure. I'm Look at Dirty Earn coming correct. It's because we were talking about all that New York hip hop got you fucking. Yeah. Rolling well, not at first. At first, they had you fucking did the struggle, but yeah, at first, you to roll up the struggle. Right. Do that. Yeah, it would be like, hmm. Hey, y'all got some weed? <laughs> Yo, uh-uh. Yeah, here's my box. Whew. Those are crazy colors. Yeah, those are dope looking. Those are the multicolor? Yeah, navy multicolor. What a crazy colorway. It doesn't look anything like that on the internet. No, it looks way better in real life. Yeah, that thing's fire. Yeah, it really is. Nice. Yeah, those look way better in person. The orange tips are a nice little touch. Yeah. It's little things. Excuse you. Hey, you can't have this box. I'm sorry. That one's for me, I'm sorry. I know, it's confusing. Ooh, I got stuff. Ain't it all? All kinds of stuffy stickers. Stussy. Stussy stickers. People don't like when you say stussy. Stussy. I never knew it. What, what it was called? Yeah. Peanut butter. He brought that thing up on my bed. God damn it. So now I have to fucking like hand wash it real quick before I do it. You are acting kind of guilty, huh? I was going to uh, do this Lisa bed review today, and I guess while we were on Twitch. You could drive through the doors. Fuck the doors. Go! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, try it again. You missed. I didn't miss. I can't go Somebody's through. like, I walk out. <laughs> Somebody's probably walking around. They're, they're, like, they're like, I hear a car. tears going down my fucking face right now. They're like, where's the car noise <laughs> coming from? You're in the shed just driving by. Did I run out of gas? This is you in the apocalypse. <laughs> no, you can't run out of gas. You gotta... Hey. Yeah. Omar decided that he was going to get it all over my bed. So now I have to clean this. So I'm gonna get started. Uh... So we are getting ready for New York City Sneaker Con is coming up. Headed to New York on Friday. I'll be in New York till Tuesday. I'm actually kind of stressed because I have not found Omar's babysitter while I'm gone. I was gonna try and take him to New York City, but it's really just like a huge headache. There will be NYC merch. There will also be an online drop for those of you wondering. King Kong design as well as another New York design we're dropping. Um, we have mystery bags coming on Thursday. Thursday night. I don't have the exact time yet. 
I'm gonna check my hat for tags. Not hanging out right now. There's an unreleased shirt that'll be in some bags, so some people will be getting that before we ever even drop it or show it off. There's t-shirts, hoodies, long sleeves, there's a couple of windbreakers, probably a towel or two in there. Some of them are just gonna be super stacked, but mystery bags are 20 bucks, $5 shipping for domestic, and you're guaranteed to get at least one thing. Most of them come with multiple things, and some of them are just crazy stacked. And we're throwing three $100 bills, and three of them will have $100 bills in them also. Because last time we did the one $100 bill, and it was just cool, so we're gonna do it again. So that happens on Thursday, New York. Then I go to New York on Friday. Uh, what else is happening? And then I come back and it's like basically getting ready for Christmas, it's crazy. So the next couple of weeks might not be that normal. So my mom's coming, we have other guests coming, I'm trying to get my house situated. We had the AI drop on Sunday, which I believe completely sold out. I think every piece sold out from that. So there will be a restock on it. We only can make so much at once before we like can't basically ship the stuff in time. But yes, there will be a restock of the Skull Robot shirt. Um, I don't know when, it's probably not gonna be before Christmas, but there will be a restock nonetheless. And yeah, other than that, I've been working on some music. We're gonna drop Mercy of the Light Volume 2, finally. It's coming, like, this week, I think, hopefully. Yeah, I think. So that should go online soon. For those of you who cop Mercy of the Light 1 and have been asking me about it, it is. Uh, I'm trying to, this is, I feel like this is just like a news update, because the weekend happened. Drawings, I have a lot of drawings still to do. Tattoo appointments that I'll be taking, but basically not this Friday, because I leave town again, so. The whatever date I get, I, I don't even know actually when I'm gonna be able to get a tattoo in uh, soon. <laughs> so maybe after the New Year's, since I'm basically doing shit until New Year's after this weekend. Okay, so shoes today. I got the uh, multicolor 4.0 navy because it seems like there's a few different multicolors coming. Uh, it seems like there's gonna be a ton of 4.0. Let's just go ahead and get that out of the way. So luckily, you can whoa, be super selective. Uh, I feel like super selective because there's not gonna be, I mean, it's gonna be available. So you don't have to get stuff as soon as it drops. It's not gonna be like 2.0 white where it just sells out every single time. Might be harder to track down your sizes. You might have to pay a little bit of resale, but I don't know. I, it's not like it was a couple years ago. So the shoe itself on my feet still. 4.0 Ultra Boost. The stock photos did this shoe zero justice, like zero justice. When I pulled these out of the box, I was pleasantly surprised. I just didn't know how good these were gonna look. The pictures, the pictures just, yeah, the pictures just didn't do it. That's what the shoe looks like. Let's give you some more light up in here. There you go. That's what the shoe looks like. So Ultra Boost model is an Ultra Boost model. Uh, this is the 4.0. And just to clarify, I had said the other day, the last time I reviewed a 4.0, that I felt like there was a difference in the way that it felt on your foot. Ben Harath, who designer of the Ultra Boost, um, posted yesterday. Uh, yesterday he posted the 4.0 on his social media and it says verbatim, the goal of designing an Ultra Boost is always to improve the experience and expression of how a running shoe can look and feel. We treat every new prominent like software upgrade and invest in new prominent machines that allow high definitions of yarn precisely supporting and contouring around the foot from heel to toe. The goal being to create a symbiotic fit where the prominent moves in harmony with the foot. We were also inspired by the pattern of the original Ultra Boost and integrated and embedded a new breathable ventilation pattern around the forefoot. I love the pure minimalism of the triple white, which showcases the precision, elegance, and depth of the new prominent textures. Congratulations to Steven Dobson, Sam Forrester, Stefan Schneider, and Fabio Villa for the beautiful design. But that's what I felt like. I feel like this upper um, just kind of hugs your foot a little bit better. It's just contouring. That's like the best word for it, especially in the toe box area. I didn't know about the breathable, uh, I didn't know about the differences in the breathability. So, um, and then obviously the 1.0 reference if you fuck with 1.0. Okay, so Ultra Boost 4.0. This is my true size 13, the one that I got before, 12 and a half, and I took out the insole so it's perfect. 13 with the insole is absolutely perfect, but they're both the same for me. Insole out is the same as insole in. And so for me, I still suggest true to size, unless you can't find your size, and then you can half size down. None of them are uncomfortable. 1.0 to 4.0 are not uncomfortable. The uppers all just feel slightly different. But yeah, your favorite will depend on you. So same thing with this prominent, as I mentioned in the last one, it has more of a kind of like just a textile feel, just a little bit more, just a little rougher, just the way it feels in your hands. I don't even know how to just say that. I don't even like, yeah, it's just, it's just a little more, a little more, what is the word? A little more textured. 
It's got a little more texture to it. PK all day. PK all day. So this multicolor is really just three different colors. It's a dark navy blue with a very light kind of Carolina blue. I don't know if we can really say peppered. Yeah, it's still peppered. Well, yeah, it's peppered. So the light blue is heavily peppered in. Dark blue base, I'd say. Heavy, heavy light blue peppering. And then you have a solar orange peppering throughout. Some more orange on them lace. Aglets, baby blue laces, solar orange insole with the new boost lettering, continental sole with the navy blue torsion system. It's kind of purple, honestly, the torsion system, to be honest. So the same color as this? Nope, that one's orange. Uh, this orange colorway to me looked more, looked super solar. Uh, when I pulled it out of the box, I didn't think it was the same as this orange, but it actually is the same color as this orange. But these two shoes are completely different. One of the, I had a conversation on Twitter earlier about uh, this looking sort of like a New York Knicks-ish colorway. I don't really pick up that vibe. These blues are completely different. This is ultramarine blue like all day. This is just like straight up navy and light blue. But I'm not a sports guy and certain colors don't like trigger those emotions or brain thoughts to me. Last year's 3.0 Ultra Boost, so there you go. Those are those next to each other. You can you can make up your own mind about which of those you prefer. This 4.0 versus this 4.0 is the ribbing that you see. The, a lot of people don't like this straight line pattern, but on this one, you don't really see it at all. I mean, you can focus on it and see it, but uh, so that kind of goes with my theory earlier is that I feel like Depending on which model you get depends on how it really looks on your foot. And what I mean by that is whether it's just kind of an overall pattern, if you're gonna get more of this stripe pattern that catches your eye, or if you'll get more of the 1.0 toe box style that catches your eye. Because I've seen some colors that you really can see the 1.0 style toe box super defined. We'll see. Like I said, there's a bunch, a bunch coming. So that is the Navy Multicolor 4.0 Ultra Boost. It has dropped in a few stores and Adidas actually set up a pre-order for it. Don't know if that pre-order is still alive, but I do know a lot of people's have not shipped for whatever that's worth. Um, but yeah, like I said, they shouldn't be too hard to get your hands on. I'm sure there'll be a little bit of everywhere. But yeah, super sick colorway that the pictures did really very little justice to. Oh, but that.